What are some cheat codes you've found in the game of life? Walk with a purpose. For some reason, people think you're busy and you don't get hassled. No one stops a guy or girl carrying a pizza. It can get you backstage to concerts. Take a $1 bill and flip it over. Now tape a $5 bill and tape it to the end of the upside down single with as little tape as possible to make it secure. Now feed the $5 bill into a change machine. The coin machine reads the 5, gives you quarters, then reads the upside down single, rejects that, and boom, you got yourself a felony. I am an assistant teacher in a preschool. Asking if kids can use their sitting muscles and listening muscles during circle time makes the kids want to show me how strong they are. If you are punctual, smartly dressed, and quite friendly, you can actually get pretty far in most jobs without being that good at anything or trying very hard. When someone says something true, say you're right, not I know. It'll make them feel better and you've still shown everyone how awfully clever you are. If any website offers a percentage coupon code like 10% off try higher values like 20% off, they often have them. If you're genuinely pleasant to be around and you show up when it counts, people will let you get away with a lot of slacking off. If you tuck a chicken's head under its wing and wave the chicken in a circle, it will automatically fall asleep. It's not a very good cheat code, but it's still a cheat code to get you sleeping chickens. You don't have to always give away the recipe. By that I mean, don't over explain yourself. If you can't do something, 910 times it's okay to simply say unfortunately I'm not able to do that, can't swing it this time etc you don't have to go on and on about why or make up reasons and list them off over explaining just ends up looking more suspect than simply being clear and concise you become the people you surround yourself with i cannot overstate how much dressing well and being well groomed will impact your life it'll drop the difficulty by two or three levels no joke people will treat you vastly differently the opposite is also true. Compliment your children with you are a hard worker and not just smart. Studies show that kids who think they're hard workers outperform kids who think they're smart. Ask questions about everything. Ask people about themselves. Be open about stuff you don't understand and ask questions about that. When you forget someone's name, own up to it and just ask them. I am amazed at how many people won't acknowledge even a tiny amount of ignorance, or won't show honest curiosity about something, can't admit they've forgotten something they feel is important, and won't ever ask for help. Guys, your life becomes so much easier if you just drop the ducking ego and ask. As an adult you can tell almost any kid who is running to stop running and they will. Not a cheat code, but an Easter egg. If you ask someone if they know all the words to him a little teapot around 80% of the people you ask will start singing it. Half of those will do the gestures. To seem charming, all you have to do a lot of the time is to be an engaged listener. You don't need an amazing sense of humor, to be able to lay on the compliments or regale people with stories. Just listen to other people in a way that shows you are interested and not only waiting for your turn to talk make eye contact don't interrupt them don't turn the conversation to be about you ask good questions edit i just wanted to add as per many comments here that being engaged listener is not the same as being a sort of conversational doormat where you have to allow people to drone on and on about things that don't interest you annoy you offend you or drain you merely suffering through an encounter is pretty much the opposite of what i'm talking about it's about letting yourself be interested in, and learn from, other people and not focus so much on feeling like you have to be an entertainer. And being an engaged listener is really the opposite of the person who just listens and never wants to talk about themselves. You are putting yourself into the conversation with your interested responses, you are guiding it to places you find interesting. 
Just suffering through boring conversations is not engaged listening. Underpromise and overperform. Say you'll achieve less than you think you will and then do more and everyone will be impressed, works well at a job. The correct response to any compliment is thank you. You can then follow it up with a comment if you'd like to continue the conversation. If someone likes your dress, thank you, it has pockets. If someone compliments your art, thank you, I've been practicing. If someone asks if you're a professional singer because you have a good singing voice, thank you, I just sing for fun. Not only does it make you seem confident and self-assured, it tells them that they are right. That's a friendly thing to do. This even works if you don't believe the compliment. Saying, oh, no, I'm ugly, when someone compliments your appearance not only tells them that they're wrong, it makes you think of yourself as ugly. A better answer would be, thank you, I really appreciate that and I don't always believe it, so hearing that from you helps. I have a heated throw blanket in my living room in the winter, I wrap my coat up in it, crank up the heat and in a few minutes, my coat is toasty warm so I can brave the coldest day. Just be nice, particularly to people in the service industry. Your job, your personal interactions, even your calls in to customer service will go 100% easier if you're just nice to people and recognize that they're probably just trying to do their job, not screw you over. When married don't stop treating your significant other like you did when you were trying to win them over, it is a great way to show them you're still as infatuated with them as you were when you first met. When I was in my old 500 plus person building, I kept a stack of papers on my desk. When I was bored, or got tired of sitting down, I'd get up, grab my stack of papers and walk around. I called them my walking papers and did this for months. Got a lot of head nods and not one question the entire time. People always assumed I was on an important mission, but nope. Not in the least. P.S. Worked on the executive floor wing. Two. If you have no complaints about your food service staff at a restaurant, ask to see the manager and pay a compliment and a thank you about the server host staff. Usually people want to see a manager to complain, and a compliment is nearly always welcome. I've gotten countless free drinks appetizers chips percent off my bill, all for just making a polite comment to management. Edit, thanks for the Reddit gold, kind stranger. You can borrow almost all of your textbooks from the library as a college student because of modern book rental agreements most colleges have. WorldCat allows you to be linked to almost any library in America, and all you have to do is find your book in the system and fill out a request form at a library and it should be there in a week. I've saved probably $2,000 doing this in my first two years of college. If you admit you're wrong and make changes to whatever it is that you're wrong about, people will respect and appreciate you more. Unfortunately this requires the swallow ego dot pill patch installed. Without this you will be incapable of being a civil person. I had a professor in college who, while lecturing, suddenly let out a huge fart. Without pausing, he turned his head as if talking to someone behind him, said Gesundheit and continued lecturing as if nothing had happened. It immediately diffused diffused any potential awkwardness and embarrassment, and I vowed to use the same strategy if the same thing ever happened to me in front of a large crowd of people. Faking confidence usually leads to actually being more confident. I love the phrase fake it till you make it. It's incredible how much success is a byproduct of just acting confident about whatever you are doing. Get a credit card like Amex Blue that has 3 to 6% cash back at groceries. Buy all your items at grocery store. I'll use Kroger as an example. You can buy normal groceries plus gift cards, Amazon, Delta, hmm, McDonald's, whatever, and get the cash back on that deal. Then, if you time it with their 4x fuel rewards, you can save $1 gallon off gas up to 35 gallons. Altogether. 
the math works out to being 12 to 15 percent off pretty much everything irk. Pause like wait. When asked a question or engaging in idle conversation and someone is speaking do not immediately begin your reply when they stop speaking, they usually aren't done. And in the case of questions most people and finished and if you give them time they usually provide to answer to the question as well, so yeah listen as well.